We didn't really have... We need more HP. We need to make sure we have enough HP to actually scale our strength up with fatigue for fights like these. Yeah, let's do another run then. So, another champ run on Ascension 6, where all enemies are deadly or elite spawn more often, we heal less after boss battles and we start each fight, uh, each run damaged. Um, hmm, only one elite this floor, so I think we want to get a couple of rest sites in for sure. Maybe late rest site so we can rest if necessary, so we don't repeat the mistake we made before. Boss is silent, so be careful with picking zero cost cards. Um, early game, a couple of car picks, then some question marks. We can only get one. Uh, that's fine. Uh, 100 souls is an option. We could spend those on that merchant, that's not bad. Taking 24 damage to remove two cards is also tempting, but... Mm, 24 damage is a lot. I'll take the 100 souls. Do we smith? Our first chance to break the key will be after the first elite, when we even have another key to break and maybe not as much gold. I think I'll go for the upgrade on execute, just so we that we have a little bit more damage at the start. Maybe that's also what, uh, maybe that's also the mistake in the last run. I never broke the keys, I only got them, so that was a bit unfortunate. Defensive stance, so we can actually just execute and are fully defended here. That's... 25 damage, just a little bit short of the kill. And we should have it now. Nice. Dual Shadow Crownerang. I do like Crownerang. But yeah, it's a decent attack. Shadow would have been very helpful last time, but against this enemy, not as much. Crownerang is pretty bad against the Silent. I shouldn't pick it here. I think I'll go with Dual. There's only one enemy play this twice. That's gonna be helpful against the boss for sure. I wish we could strike strike duel. Too bad that won't quite work out. Duel is basically a strike and a defend. Both a little better. So I think duel strike is our plan here. Take five. We need to defend twice anyways, but this will reduce the cost of one of the cards, so... Execute out of this and finish the fight. Triple Strike. Technique deals 6 damage at 2 strikes into your hand. They have cost 0 and have Technique Exhaust. That's just a very good card. The strikes costing 0 and having Technique makes them much, much better than strikes would normally be. And it's also a really good upgrade because it upgrades the strike it generates. Uh, yeah. It's also a nice strike synergy card, which we don't really have right now. Like, uh, we, we can't really use right now, but it will be useful soon. Gambler's Brew. Defensive shout, focus defensive on guard. Uh, we have a couple of techniques, so maybe something like uh, stun sentry to make use of those techniques would be nice. But it doesn't look like we're gonna go too much into counter, so maybe we want something more... 
Berserker oriented. Do I take the on guard just as a good defensive card? I think so. I want a question mark last here. Just so we have the most options if it's something like uh, transform or upgrade. Triple strike is 18 damage. Uh, I think we double block here, do we? No. I want that damage. Fourteen damage brings you down to thirty-seven, which is still not a split yet. Uh, let's also gain some technique bonuses while we're at it. And now, if we attack again, we split you, which I want to avoid right now. I want a better split. Duel or execute? Execute is more damage and strength, and we don't need a block if we go for the split this turn. Strike with fatigue. We'll take one, but the backliner will die to the counter. Backstep. Game block equal to your fatigue. That might be useful. Iron Fortress, On Guard. I'm not sure I even want the backstep, to be honest. I'm gonna take it. Set trap, lose a strike. Okay. Fair enough. Meal ticket whenever you enter shop, heal 15 HP. That's good. I like having some form of uh, healing anti attrition stuff with the champ. Again, duel and execute are both available here. I'm gonna go for the execute. And then, ah, uh, we hit the duel. Was hoping to hit the strike there, but. Backstab is 16 block, that's worth it. Triple strike should probably go out here. Building up some counter. On guard is A block now, A block next turn. That's and also some counter. Is it five? It's five counter per technique. That's not bad. This is a lot of extra defense as well. Yeah. And then we should have the kill next turn. Nice. More bank. Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 souls. No longer works when you spend any souls at the shop. Finish him. Chain lash. Backstab. I think this is a skip. Yeah. Hmm. Dual on guard is a full block. It's a little over block, so the block doesn't get broken. Uh, if we could block for exactly 12, I would like to do so, but we can't. Can we get a kill? This is 18. No, it's not possible. I'm just gonna go for the full block and some damage at least. Same thing here. Full block, some damage. And now we go all out and get the kill as soon as possible. Um. Strike, backstab, on guard, so we only need one more damage. There we go. Bottle technique, technique five times. Oh, dancing master. It's hard though. Flurry of strikes makes sense with 
triple strike. But isn't this just a bad card? It's three times if fatigue is 20 or higher. It's also a strike. Flurry of strikes. It's really just... Hmm. It seems really bad. How many cards containing strike will we have in our hand on average? Once we played the triple strike, we have five strikes in the deck. So about two of those will be in our hand at one time. But the flurry of strikes also takes one space. I think it also benefits from itself, but I'm not sure. If not, it's really bad. If it does... Uh, we could, it could be a uh, deal 12 sometimes, deal 8 other times. Uh, it just doesn't seem good. Like if we compare this to something like a flechette, then yeah, the, the values are similar, but this one is much more specific. It's not just attacks, it's cards containing strike I think that's just not good enough I don't mm, we could build into dancing master in theory but I do want to do something with strikes I'm gonna go with crooked strike because it's a strike and because it actually seems solid if we can get fatigue to 20 or higher then it's gonna be a huge hit uh, let's enter a stand so we can actually trigger triple strikes a couple of time. Well, I mean use it to trigger fatigue a couple of times. Uh, technique, that's what I wanted to say. Duel brings our fatigue to 25 blocks for us and then enables the crooked strikes thanks to that. That's pretty good. Well, I guess the big advantage of uh, of Flurry of Strikes will be that it benefits a lot from Strength. That was solid damage. We also have a couple of options with the amount of money we have. And Circle, 3 damage to random enemy 2 times. The soccer combo play this twice. It's a good card that benefits from strength. It's not a strike. It does work with Berserker stance, which we do want to be in, but don't have a lot of entries. It's an uncommon. We can't easily find it if we want it later. I'm still gonna skip it. Let's see, do we break the more bank here? I think we do. I think there are a couple of nice things we could get here. Among them being apotheosis. Giving us a lot of upgrades. Bag of prep is nice as well. Really like starting with a large hand. Berserker shout is nice. Uh, defensive style, I don't think, I don't think we want skillful dodge, maybe reckless leap even. I'm considering the circle shout and circle back. And then even a card removal on top of that. On a defend. I think we want to keep our strikes around for now. We do have the duel and the uh, backstab as defensive options at least. And the on guard. So I think yeah, removing a defend is fine there. We don't have the money to break it so I'm gonna upgrade here. And I want to upgrade this triple strike. That's a very important upgrade to me. Oof. 
10 max HP isn't bad, but permanent strength or choose a non-finisher card to gain and or a chosen stance. Having another stance entry card seems nice. On the on guard, for example. Or just lift for the strength would also not be bad. Especially with cards like Triple Strike and Encircle. That would be quite nice. I'm gonna go for the lift. Now do I recall so I can break the key next floor? That seems a bit more reasonable. The triple strike is not great against this boss, but we don't have too many zero costs in the deck, so I think we should overall be fine. Duel's gonna be great. Maybe I wanna upgrade the duel. I am a bit worried about this boss fight. We can break the key later. And duel is now 20 damage, 20 block against the boss. That's just huge. Ooh, the woman in blue. Yes, please. Give me that potion relic. I'm willing to spend some potions to make it through this fight. Okay, okay. Let's enter the circle. Hmm. I kind of want to execute now. I think I will. Gain the fatigue and then clear the fatigue. So now we have 5 strength. We take 5 damage this turn. But that was worth it for this setup. Do want to taunt. Oh nice we hit the encircle. Good damage. The enemy is still busy with buffing. But she will get to her fairy in a bottle. So we do need to be able to defend. But luckily, this turn there won't be a problem at all. Ritual now. Deal 17. Then deal another 17 three times. There we go. Toy only top door. Whenever you use a potion, heal 5 HP. Very happy to see it. Armor's tincture is good. Dexterity potion is good. I think I keep the Gamblos Pro over these two. Tornado Punch, Defensive Shout, Adrenal Armor. I like the Adrenal Armor a lot. I think I do want to build this around Berserker. That works just better with the Strike theme, with uh, cards like Triple Strike. Especially. We can just kill the two attacking laws here. I'm considering just using a potion for the 5 healing and hope hopefully get another one. Worth it. Swift potion, draw 3 cards. That's a better potion anyways, I think. And the Gambler's Brew. Another Berserker Shroud. Does it upgrade to? Draws a card. Maybe stun stuns is better. Hey Chris, welcome! Luna says hi. How is our block call looking? We have the three defense, we have taunt for weakness, we have the upgraded duel, we have on guard and backstab. 
And we have the adrenal armor. I think our block core is looking nice. I want the stun stance. I want the option to enter for free. We have a lot of Berserker combos in this deck and we have quite a few cards that are a bit more expensive. Sure, it's not going to be amazing against this enemy. I'm still going to play it to enter Berserker here so I can start gaining some fatigue. I could go with triple strike and then adrenal armor. But if I play all the strikes, she will gain, gain one strength from the shift. So maybe better to go dual execute instead. Gets us ready to use the champion's crown again. So that's also not a bad thing. Yeah, that was worth it. That was actually worth it. Uh, actually, you know what? Should have used this earlier, but I do want the uh, decks for this fight. Enemy is 14 block. Is incoming. Incoming is 16. Uh, we can gain some fatigue and then backstab, I guess. Do I have a one end circle? That 16 damage, only two of those will actually get through. Backstab is 13 block. So yeah, I think I just fully defend here. I could defend with the Crooked Strike instead. Do I want to leave Berserker? No, I think, well, defensive. Do I want to... Uh, maybe I should have left defensive here. Maybe not. That's two strikes. Uh, two shifts. But it's good damage. I do care about my damage. Dior is 24 block. Enemies doing 25 plus 2 due to shuriken 27 go with an adrenal armor duel building up some counter and block and then we can probably finish the fight over the next two turns this turn is not that scary Ten block. Uh, block won't get broken. I think I'll crooked strike and taunt. Hmm. Execute is a lot of defense. Sixteen. Uh, we are weakened. I'm not dealing a ton of damage this turn. Just a little bit short. I'm gonna defend here. Uh, one more shift for seven more block. One more shift is seven damage, so that's not worth it. I'll take... Ouch. That's quite a bit of damage, but we do get the kill now. Right? Yeah, dual and circle. Oh! But we did get past it. Another triple strike. Strike of genius is also something that helps with strike. Um, yeah. Let's try out strikes of genius. Now we really want to go into some strike synergy stuff as well we want extra energy i hate picking sozu with the toy only top door i hate picking the buster crown when our deck still needs so much help Ugh. but at the same time i feel like we need the extra energy can sozu ever be correct here I 
feel like it's not. I really feel like that would be a huge mistake. Uh, bust the crown and just get the remaining pieces we need from shops. Oh, I don't like it. Buying cards at shops now is an important part of our plan. There's a four elite path with no rest sites in between. It's a bit reckless. But I think it might be what we need to bring this run to a success. I'll break the emerald here. I want the dex. I want the strength eventually. Uh, I think I have to recall here because there are not a lot of uh, options. The uh, this relic in our strength. Start each combat with one strength. It's an event relic. Hmm, strike of genius duel. Seems fine. Preemptive strike. Ah, oh, that's really not the strike, the type of strike we're looking for. We're about to take five here. Come on, are you kidding me? That sucks. Okay, Strike of Genius might not be good. Stun stance, 20 defensive, so we can execute for the finisher bonus. Oh, we actually have to kill. Gut Punch. Enter Berserker, deal 5 damage, defensive combo, gain energy and 5 block. That will sometimes be useful. I'll take it. It's good enough, I think. I'm even gonna use it here. In the extra strength and try to focus down the front build. We have way more block than necessary that turn. And now we have a turn where we actually have to be. Well, we actually have to take some damage. Not a whole lot, at least. Let's hope... St Strike of Genius, why? Why? Please stop. There are other cards you can give me, right? There have to be. Moment of truth. Retain finisher. No thanks. Upgrades to draw a card. Still no thanks. Not interested in that in this deck. Um, let's go for another question mark. Remove all strikes, receive three upgraded tackles. Normally I would take it, but I kind of want to use these strikes. Consult playbook? I don't think so. Uh, maybe I've fallen into a trap with those strike thingies. Maybe strike synergy is not really a good thing to build into. We'll see, we'll see. And now Crooked Strike hits three times. T 
Teague is definitely still very valid. Base strike? I mean, sure. Swift potion. Uh, I probably should have used the potion refreshment. It's often gonna be two energy. Sometimes even both effects. Uh, fine. I'll take it. Oh. I think this is an armor tank shot turn. We can taunt, play whatever gets cost reduced, play duel and circle. Hopefully we end up in Berserker. It's gonna be 11 block. Weakness on the enemies, maybe we play a defend on top of that. So ideally we have 17 block and weakness on the enemies. Maybe we even kill... Sneaky gremlin. So we might not need the armorous tank shot. That might be a bit overkill. That's also the refreshment we could use. I think I will. Sure. We killed the frontliners. Blocked all the damage. Now we can go for some fatigue. And then we clear it all with a uh, crooked strike. That was nice. Strike of genius per circle shot. Mm. We just play everything. Do have the full block, but I think we do have to remove these guys. Oh, a triple strike. That's good. I also like the gut punch. I think I want to move into Berserker first thing here. Unless. Want to execute? Do you wanna play the taunt? Actually, we might wanna play the taunt and before the execute so we can get the 12th block from. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, we don't have a lot of health left because we spent. We most of it in our fatigue but that's okay because we win the courier the merchant restocks cards relics and potions all prices are reduced by 20% very nice wishes mockery temporary strength mm, probably not no Blue candle. Unplayable curse cards can now be played. No, I think I want the sapphire key here. Ooh, that's a lot of incoming damage. We can't enter defensive. Can only enter berserker. I think we should do so. And use the refreshment this turn. We even defend. Right now we would take 14. This brings it down to 8. 
but it denies us the strike of genius. Uh, sure, we probably won't need that. Maybe I should have used the potion last turn though. I'm gonna re-enter Berserker and keep gaining fatigue. We do, do care quite a bit about our current fatigue levels with cards like Backstab. Nice. And Berserker's shout again. I feel like we have enough Berserker entries by now. Shop or Elite? I th think we want the Elites. Ooh, definitely want to use some potions in this fight, I think. Start with the Power Potion here. Dancing Master. We could trigger that this turn, right? Yeah, we can. Endless Rage. Iron Fortress. All of these are pretty good. I'm gonna go for Dancing Master. Let's set that up. into Berserker, that's fine. And we move to Defensive. To Gut Punch back into Berserker. Drawing us two cards from the Dancing Master. Giving us an energy as well. That's Refreshment to draw three more cards. And let's go to town on these enemies. That was good. That was very good. Great opening turn with that Dancing Master use. Full block. And the kill. Nothing special here. Oops. We are one block short here. I thought for some reason we had the kill. On the mental fan, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Flash strike, nope. Don't want it. The ornamental fan is nice, especially with the triple strike we have. Let's see. We can't do Hmm. I might have to use a Swift Potion here. Yeah, this hand is not great. Much better now. Let's backstab to enter Defensive, then enter Berserker, then Refreshment both draws and gains energy. Let's get as many... Technique triggers as we can. So we gain strength. Let's see what Stance Master. Stance Stance has in store for us. Sword throw. Deal 10 damage two times. Unless per circle combo you can attack next turn. And circle is just bad alright now. And I think we finish with a crooked strike. Oh, we didn't. Hmm, apparently we didn't have uh, 20 fatigue. Okay, I guess. Duel is full block already. And we should have an easy kill now. Circumvent, nope, not interested in the slightest. 
Uh, these guys again. Again with their aggressive opening. So we can stun stance into Berserker, use a triple strike. On the fat gremlin twice. Hmm. Nope, this just won't work out well. I think I use the armor or potion here. Execute got reduced in cost, okay. We in circle. Okay. I guess that wasn't bad. I forgot that ornamental fan would trigger a bunch of times here. We do want to set up the strike of genius. I want to, I don't really want to leave Berserker right away. But we have a couple more entries left in the deck, so I'm fine with it. Also refreshes our opportunity to play the champion's crown. Oh, perfected strike is so good. It is so good. 31 damage. Let's see, how do we defend this turn? Backstab probably is a part of it. Let's see what Town does for us. Kane enables Gut Punch. Uh, that was a bit overkill. We don't need to backstab. We can backstab after the finisher, so we are at least in a stance. Which might matter. To one end of our circle to gain uh, strength from adrenal armor. So we can kill that gremlin in two hits. And now we should focus on the backline and just finish them. Rising Strike. Play this card twice if the last card played was a technique. We can do that. Please hit the backline at least once. Nice. Thread and Needle. Start each combat with four plated armor and a crown ring. I'm not interested in that one. As much as I would like to go for a rest site and a question mark here, I think we have to go to the merchant. We need to look for a few things. Um, Berserker shouts dance dance to gain a card. It's not bad. It's taunt into defensive so we can use refreshment to full effect. I would like to use the pile driver honestly. Instead of strike of genius. It's only gonna generate three cards in this fight. That's still quite a bit though. But yeah, I'm gonna go for the damage instead. Gut Punch into Triple Strike. Ornamental Fan defending us and then in Circle. Oh, we can even use the Adrenal Armor on top of it. Should have done so first though. But still good. Duel for even more fatigue. A giant Execute. Well, too bad we can't trigger the counter, but that was good damage. I think we should be able to finish the merchant next time we fight them. Let's see. Enraged Bash, I kind of want it, and Tungsten Rod. 
tungsten rod especially. We can afford both. I will go with that. Tungsten rod seems really good. Seems like it's really good with fatigue. Let's see, what's our defense this turn? It might have to be Crooked Strike with the Stance Stance for defensive. We do have Ornamental Fan and we can play 3 attacks. We do have Threatened Needle, so that's 8. Our defense does look quite okay. So yeah, we only lost 4 HP, but we have 5 Fatigue, so that's very nice with the Tungsten Rod. So basically, we're generating healing like this. We do have the 20 Fatigue for the Crooked Strike. So let's enter Defensive. Do we want to strike on top of it or just defend? I think we defend so we keep our plated armor intact. Gut Punch Adrenal Armor is decent defense. Take two here, but we already have some healing saved up. So we heal to full back at the end of the fight. Flex potion, happy to have it. Don't want to circumvent. Let's move on. Slave us. I think we're okay against these. Um, this hand though. Berserker shout in rage bash. On guard. Crooked strike won't be active. We'll get to play a strike for free as well. Well, something for free, so one strike will be played. That triggers the ornamental fan. So we're gonna gain 4, 8 block. We're gonna gain 9 more blocks. So 17 block. Uh, it's not quite enough, but we can also kill the backliner with a fire potion. So that's good enough for me. Let's start with the Berserker's Shout. Gain some extra fatigue for one strength and then start dishing out some damage. We can just barely kill the backliner with a fire potion. Took some damage, we don't have healing stored up this time around. But we should be able to get to that point. Backstab first and then taunt into Berserker so we can refreshment. We do have the full block so we can just go aggressive with Triple Strike Execute. Also getting a bunch of fatigue, healing us up back to full. Really like the Tungsten Rod interaction with uh, With the champ. Now we have a lot of sustain. Mercury Hourglass at the start of your turn deals 3 damage to all enemies. I don't want a skillful dodge, no thanks. This is pretty straightforward. We stun stance into Berserker to gain fatigue. Actually, maybe this wasn't so straightforward, and I should have saved the. Cro I should have played the crooked strike first to stay in Berserker. Uh, looks like it's gonna be fine. That will do. Very nice turn. Cool. 
Vexing Draught. Gain 2 strength and 2 dex. Add 2 burn plus to your uh, draw pile. Endure. Scales with strength. That's actually quite reasonable. We do generate quite a bit of strength with this deck. Watcher, huh? Um, you're on the Blasphemous Demise, so we want to go aggressive against you. Which, luckily, is kind of our specialty. Start with Berserker's Shout, Adrenal Armor, just to gain strength. Don't want to execute? I think so. It's another point of strength. Um, Duel is enough block for this turn, so let's go all out with the triple strikes. We're already almost there in the with the Blasphemous Demise. That's very nice. No damage incoming. Let's just go... On guard for the strength and then encircle strike of genius giving us more attacks. Rapid strike. Steal 6 damage 2 times. 6 damage in additional time for each technique bonus triggered this turn. That's very nice but sadly this hand doesn't have any technique bonuses. Luckily, we have full block from our relics here. And there is the Blasphemous Demise, minus 4 strength, because she plays blas Blasphemy this turn. We still need some block, because uh, right now this is deal 2 damage twice, but she will gain 4 strength. So it will be 6 damage twice and then times 3 with the Blasphemy. So it will be uh, 18 damage twice, so 36 damage. That's, that's a reasonable amount of damage. Let's go with the Enrage Bash. Definitely dual here. We don't get to... 20 fatigue, so I'm not sure if I even want to use Crooked Strike. We might not be able to enter Berserker next turn. Uh, we can Gut Punch to enter Berserker this turn, though. Hmm. Yeah, that's okay. And even play the defend. Nice. So we fully block all the 36 incoming. The enemy becomes intangible due to the incense burner. So they don't die to Blasphemer. Which is really cool. We can actually get to 20 fatigue this turn. Not that these crooked strikes really do a lot, but the fatigue gives us strength. So, still a good turn. Flurry of strikes. We have one strike in hand. Yeah, that's a bit what I was worried about, but with this much strength, it's still a good card. Let's start by entering the Berserker stance and then... Well, that's not a strike, but still good nonetheless. There we go. That went very well. Spiked energy drink. Devastate. Deal 24 damage. Cost 1 less energy for each finisher played this combat. Is a finisher itself. We play about 1 finisher every 2 turns. With a crooked strike and an execute. Maybe a bit less than that. So this would need about 6 turns before it really becomes good. That's way too slow. 
Fusion Hammer, Tiny House, Velvet Joker. Can we do Velvet Joker stuff here? Problem is, in Circle and Adrenal Armor count double because they play twice. Refreshment becomes quite hard to use and Strike of Genius is a bit of an annoyance with that. Can we do Fusion Hammer? What do we need to upgrade? Not necessarily Crooked Strike. Maybe Adrenal Armor would be nice. I'm fine with not having that many upgrades. And Rage Bash would be quite nice though. Tiny House? Is it Tiny House here? Do we just say we have enough energy with the Buster Crown? We... Hmm. The 50 souls would allow us to break both keys right as a start. The 5 max HP is nice. I'm actually gonna go Tiny House here. We got the Strike of Genius upgraded, which is very good because that generates upgraded strike cards now. Shadow. Do I want that? We are in Berserker quite often. Do we need a card to remove block? This will make the Iron Clan next floor pretty easy. Who did we fight on the first floor? We had Watcher here. We had Silent on the first floor. So the last boss is either Defect or Iron Clad. Yeah, that's a 50-50 for Shadow to be game-breakingly strong. I'll take it. And I'll take the Power Potion here over the Muddle Potion. We fight the Defect. It's still good against the Defect. The Defect also has a decent amount of block. Mm, I would like a shop this floor. This one, maybe? That seems reasonable. Then we can still go for three elites. Find some more relics. I like it. Let's break the ruby. Uh, we could delay the sapphire break, but... Uh, that might make the shop less useful, but... Oh yeah, that also removes artifact on upgrade. That matters quite a bit. I forgot that that's how that card works. Um, we can always just opt out of the shop. No, we're gonna kill the shopkeeper. We'll have enough gold. Gut Punch, Berserker Shout, Adrenal Armor, and... Duel, maybe? If one of those gets cost reduced. Maybe Refreshment for Duel. Okay, let's get that Exploder down. Exploder dies to the Hourglass. Or we might need to kill it to not take damage here. Uh, if, if we play three attacks, we have eight block already. And your will be another 12. So we already have the full block. Wrong order. If I played in Dior first, the uh, Repulsor would already be dead. Well, I have to play it anyway, otherwise we take damage here. Well, I could have played the Defend instead, but it doesn't really matter. Fine. Flash Strike. Will that give us block before it deals damage? It does not. So we wanna enter Berserker? We can't. No, we just wanna fatigue. But we also want to kill. Fine. Well, we're missing 1 HP. Not like that matters a whole lot. Don't want Vexing Drought at all. We don't have a good way of dealing with these statuses. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, upgraded in Renal Armor. That's great. 
I'll get rid of Waxing Rod and take an Energy Potion instead. The burns are maybe just a little bit too much for us. Easy Berserker. Get the Adrenal Armor for some strength. And then... Bash the enemy. Crooked Strike is already active. Sure, that's good damage. Let's follow that up when the next execute. Yeah. And then we win. Molotov, we don't want that. Nor do we want Tornado Punch. Heal to full, lose 30 max HP, no thanks. We already have full HP. Backstab gut punch probably to start. That's a technique and that's a technique as well. Renal armor is very nice. Good block, good strength gain. Uh, incoming is 34. We have 20 right now. Okay, we take two this turn. That's fine. We only take one thanks to tungsten rod even. Should have played this earlier. I forgot that there was even an option for this card. Just playing it to generate another card. Well, we're on full health. Uh, precise thrust? I don't think so. We're not stance dancing around enough for that to really be worth it. And let's kill the merchant. Dance, dance into defensive, so we got punch our way into Berserker. Uh, we should have played Endure first. Do we even play Endure? Do we play Endure or do we just slam all the five strikes? I think we just slam the strikes. Endure would have been one more strength. This is an easy Adrenal Armor. It's also Berserker and Ongar before we finally Crooked Strike for decent damage. No entry this turn. Not that we need one. Nice. Finished the Merchant. Another duel. This one pre-upgraded. Uh, Duel is a very good card against Niao and his minions. It's also good against the defect. It's good against most elites on this floor, sure. It's also balanced in terms of offense and defense. Oh, that's a dueling laugh I see there. Um, I don't think this deck wants good clean fight. Sadistic nature, probably not. We don't really do debuffs. Flash of Steel isn't bad. It's actually a very good strength. Using card. Really want a dueling glove though. Oh, shuriken! Ah, uh, I wish I could have that. Donos Warshaws, probably not, no. I could buy card removal and Flash of Steel. I'm gonna go with Flash of Steel Trip. I would take Trip if we didn't have the Dueling Glove, but we do, so we don't really need it as much. I'm gonna cut the Defend. 
still foolishly hoping for some weird strike synergy thing to happen. Besides Strike of Genius giving us something like Flurry of Strikes. Mostly just because I think this deck can afford to follow these kinds of uh, dreams. Triple Strike, Backstab, Gut Punch. That's the Backstab, Gut Punch pays for itself. Uh, sure. The backstab is good defense. And then we just add Renal Armor to finish it. Because I don't want to hit the enemy another one more time and just gain a curse. Because they feel like it. Twenty-four, that might be okay. Yeah, we take six here, but we already have some fatigue overflow, so we're gonna heal back some damage. Maybe I just use a Recalcum for defense this turn. Could also double defend, giving me... Hmm, if I use a Re I can't use a Recalcum because... Strike, Kukrat Strike will activate the Ornamental Fan. This is still fine. Kinda wanna set up Strike of Genius, but it depends on what the Encircle makes the enemy do this turn. Yeah, that's fine. Perfected strike. I like that. Let's start with an adrenal armor pile driver. And then finish with the perfected strike. Set a trap. Gain six counter, defensive combo, gain six counter for each attack in your hand. Enter defensive. If any card like that, well. That has some synergy with things like Triple Strike, but it's not really good enough. Uh, these guys. Hmm. Berserker Shout. How do we defend this turn? We have On Guard. That's about it. Triple Strike is another 4 block. Let's see what Berserker Shout hits. Defense, that's not bad. I think I want to target the buffing one. Take that one out really early. We're actually dealing way more damage than I would have thought. Why are we hitting for 18 with these? Oh, vulnerability from the Dueling Glove. Once again, we have some fatigue already pre-stacked. So these guys are actually not too bad. Oh, fan of knives. Yeah. And we heal to full at the end of the fight right now. So we can end it here. Crown orang, nope, not necessary. Let's fight the Raptomancer. No entry, huh? We could try to fish for an entry with the power potion. There are a few powers that enter a stance. Not these though. Shield wall seems good though. Two decks and six counter for free each turn. Mostly taking it because of the two decks right now. We do want to kill these swords. 
Maybe I just play in circle. Strike, strike of genius. Uh, that's probably be a bit too aggressive. Duel instead. For some damage and some block. 17 block, we would take one. That's fine, but it costs... No, we won't take one. We have the tungsten rod. So I think we also wouldn't lose a plated armor in that case. Yep, we don't lose a plated armor. That's good. Please give me... Berserker. That's nice. It's five times for six. Yeah, I like it. We can just block the damage from this sword and it will kill itself. So I guess we're better off killing the top one. How do we defend this turn? Probably involves the duel. How do we kill that Shadow Flash of Steel, perhaps? We definitely duel you. Might as well start with that. That's almost enough block already. But we can gain more. There we go. Full defense. Murder strike to murder the enemy. Prayer wheel. Normal enemies drop an additional card reward. And balances out the buster crown to some degree. But it's a bit late for it to really... Shine. Uh, do we want to add boss cards? I think we can just afford it. Tungsten Rod also works out of combat. Just dig for boss cards. We might as well skip so, uh, most of these, but... Oh, these are actually not affected by the uh, Buster Crown. That's nice. Invincible. You cannot lose more than a given amount of HP in a single turn. At the end of any round in which Invincible prevented HP loss, remove it. Uh, no, actually, I don't think so. Awaken? Uh, probably not. Chrono Boost? Chrono Boost might be worth it. Guardian Wall. That's a good multi-hit, and we scale very well with these things. I think, think I leave the other one, the others behind. Yep. Backstep torn, so we end up in Gladi uh, in uh, Berserker for sure. Or just gamble on the taunt instead. If we land in defensive, that's actually really bad. Yeah, I think we have to do it that way. So we can actually play the Adrenal Armor. Too bad we couldn't play Guardian World at turn, but that's fine. Duel has our full defense ready. Then I think we just play the other two cards. Keep building up that fatigue to heal up later. Uh, Flash of Steel to draw. Triple Strike to build up fatigue so we can endure. Backstab! Oh, that's even better. Then I think we encircle backstab. Full block easily. 
We're now in the wrong stance, though. But I think that's just fine. We already have enough fatigue to heal back to full. Murder strike once again, right when we are ready to kill. Blank card at the start of each combat, play a copy of a random card from your deck that will sometimes help us start in a stance, which is always a nice thing to have. Um, I like the upgrade on Endure, Enraged Bash, Gut Punch isn't bad either. Adrenal armor. And circle probably doesn't need it as much. Pack step becoming zero cost. Yeah, that's that matters way too much. To not do that upgrade. Just to defend. I mean I guess it's a slow. Um can't enter a stance this turn, so let's just set up strike of genius. And I think I think I value fatigue more than a bit of extra damage. Do I? Yeah, against this enemy for sure. Let's make sure we full defend as well. There are the entries we were looking for. Hmm. I think we start with backstab, taunt into berserker, so we double benefit from the berserker's shout, and then heal some damage. Another murder strike. Let's see what we draw here. Execute, that will be useful. That's probably better. Should probably have played that last, although the murder strike did benefit from all the techniques we played that turn. Green armor to boost up the rapid strike seems nice. One more energy to play the fem before we go for the big hits. And the counter is not quite enough to kill, but uh, our glass will. The boot, whenever we would deal 4 or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to 5. Don't think we need vulnerability potions, nor do we need precise thrust. Aspire growth. Okay, enter defensive right at the start. That's nice. Move over to Berserker though. Kinda wanna defend in Circle Guardian Wheel. Instead of playing the Strike of Genius, just get the damage in there early. Oh, enemy is not rooting us or. Uh, using the uh, squeezing move. Let's gain strength first and then ask questions. And, uh, flash the steel later. Sure. That's worth it to play an extra crooked strike here. Because we win the fight with it. Flex potion, I don't think we really need that. Oh, there's an upgrade, a flurry of strike. Steel Edge, probably not what we want. I'll take the Flurry of Strikes though. Flex Potion, I think I keep the potions I have. These seem quite reasonable for now. Let's see. Flurry of Strikes, Crooked Strike. Mm. It's not that good. 
Adrenal armor. I really want to be able to enter Berserker. Uh, Murder Strike is actually decent in this deck, but it's a rare, so I want to avoid it. Let's take Rapid Strikes instead. Then I think we backstab to enter Defensive. Rainbow is dealing 4. Let's gain some counter. Nothing wrong with that. Solid turn one. Still no way to enter Berserker. Enemy stealing quite a bit of damage this turn. Uh, they will be dealing 26. 35, 39 damage. Would like to play the Shadow effectively here, but that's not really a good option to. Um, let's defend. This is 12 damage, this is 13 damage. We go with Shadow then. 39 block. It's a good amount. Because it's exactly the amount the enemy dealt, tried to uh, tried to deal with, to deal to us. That's how this these words are used. I think I do give them a focus with Strike of Genius. That's fine. It's only gonna be a one-time thing, anyways. I'm gonna end up Berserker with this actually. Storm, Defragment, Blind. 11, that's actually correct. So incoming is 18. I think I'm gonna taunt Gut Punch before I enrage Bash and Duel. Just to get the maximum out of these cards. Refreshment. Um, can we generate enough block? I it, it certainly doesn't seem like we can. That's four. We can get another four if we use refreshment and all these attacks, but not enough to use Guardian Well this turn. But the defect is almost down already. So we are very close to killing here. I want to gain as much fatigue as possible. Just to heal up. Because we don't heal to full at the end of boss fights. And onwards to Ak four. This is going well. I like the deck. Feels really strong. I think we have a good shot at Niao. Hey Maxwell. Welcome. We are already in defensive. Not bad, not bad. Berserk or Adrenal Armor. I think I want to focus on gaining fatigue. You're cooking? What are you cooking? I'm glad I'm already done cooking for today. Made a great bolognese sauce. Shepherd's pie for a few days. Sounds good. Sounds very good indeed. It's always nice if you can cook for a few days in in advance. Might as well when you're at it, right? 
Uh, no damage incoming this turn, so we just want to scale our damage. Let's taunt just for the Fatigue 5, so we can Gut Punch back into Berserker, maybe find a good combo card. Yeah, that definitely counts. Refreshment has both combos active this turn. Triple Strikes into a Flurry of Strikes. We could backstab and gain a huge amount of block, but we would lose it anyway before the bomb blows up, so not really any point to that. Ugh. This is awkward. Uh-oh. Slightly worrying. We're gonna take quite a bit of damage to that bomb. I think we play everything but the strike. In Rage Bash for the Fatigue, I guess. I wish I had any kind of card draw available here, but really don't. Hmm? Shouldn't the boot have increased that damage to 5? Well, take 29 here. Good thing we have... A decent amount of healing just with the uh, Tungsten Rod. We also have the Toy Only Top there, I guess. Incoming is 11 this turn. That's probably manageable. We already have the necessary defense. Um, we can't enter a stance. Let's set up Strike of Genius. And I want the Fatigue. I would like the Shatter if we actually had the option to enter Berserker here. Uh, flurry of strikes, hitting twice. It's not great, but it's the best we're gonna get. Still no stance entry, but at least we have a duel. Hmm, not great. Not a big hit we take here. Now the bomb blows up, but at least we have a stun sentry this turn. Not that that's gonna help us a whole lot. Much preferable to not having one though. Crooked strike is not lethal. We do survive the bomb, right? Oof. This fight isn't going well at all. But I think with the perfected strike here we might have to kill. Ouch, that was rough. Swift Potion, another Crooked Strike? I don't think so. Good thing we have the meal ticket. No Lee's Waffle. Nunchaku is nice. Potions aren't ideal. But these are not much more useful either. Maybe I should have spent some potions to heal with the toy on the top though, but... Eh... Uh, lacking card draw. But there's really no option here for that. Except for Orrery, maybe? But with the Buster Crown, that's very unlikely. I'm just gonna go for Nunchaku. Really? Uh, yeah. And probably Berserker style, honestly. It's actually a reasonable card here. 
Oh, the tungsten rod came after the boot. That's why I didn't do extra damage. Let's rest here so we at least have a decent amount of HP to enter this fight. I hope everything goes well here. I think these bosses are a bit easier to deal with than the merchant for this deck. But the intervention of Niao might still cause some problems. We can at least build up strength in the first fights to benefit from later on. Uh, Shatter is so good, but I want the Strike of Genius out early. We might even be able to heal up quite a bit in these fights if we're lucky. Or take your shifts. Uh, we take no damage thanks to Tungsten Rod. And Silent took quite a bit of spikes damage there. Triple strikes? That's a lot of shifts for the enemy. We better make sure we can get the kill if we do that. Um, fatigue 7 on each one. We are weakened. So right now, this would be uh, 27 each. The encircle, we would gain 6 times 7 fatigue, 42 fatigue. That's four more strength, so the encircle would deal about three more damage. So that's eight damage per hit. So that's another 32. Then the duel. We can play the duel on top of all that. Seven cards in hand. So they would at max have four shifts. So that would be six damage per shift. Plus one from the last one. 6 damage per shift. Uh, that would be 25 damage. Yeah, we can just go for it, no matter whether or not we kill. And I forgot about the... Um, forgot about the... Weak... Vulnerability. This is more fatigue? No, it's not. Wait, we're not fighting a single enemy. I forgot. Meow is watching. Perfected strike. Do wanna play in Rage Bash? Start with Stance Stance for Berserker. We do want to clear our fatigue now, for sure. That's just 240 damage, that's outright the kill here. Wait, no it wasn't. Why? Huh? What did I miss there? That didn't hit three times. Weird. Didn't quite get what happened there. Haunted in this hand? Wait, did I expect a perfect... Did I play a perfected strike there? And expect it to hit four, uh, three times? I did, didn't I? That wasn't a crooked strike. That's just my bad then. We lose the refreshment, okay. We're healing up quite a bit though. And we have 12 strength now that we start the fight against the defect. So I think we'll be fine here. Perfected strike is nice. Let's 
start with flurry though. I'm actually gonna use Guardian Whirl because that's a ton of damage. Rising Strike. Okay, no defense this turn. So we better finish the enemy quickly. Like this. That worked out well. And we gain quite a bit of healing. We're at 102 now. It's good enough. Bag of knives. Whenever we play zero cost card, take four damage. And it triggered on the blank card. Uh, Blasphemous Demise. When Niao loses 136 more HP, she will be stopped from gaining 10 strength. The next turn she uses a buff and unbiased cognition. Gains 2 strength for every rare we play. Can't seem, see a way to enter a stance right now, so let's drink. Gut Punch will do. I'm okay with taking some hits to the block here. My main priority is getting the Strike of Genius set up and gain as much strength as possible. On guard would help there. These hits are pretty low in circle, but doing some damage also helps. So a block is also not gonna get broken this turn. Maybe I should just use my potions though. I think that's what I'll do. And just go for the damage right now. Use Angard, Shadow, and Encircle. Just get that Blasphemous Demise down before Niao even thinks about buffing. Adrenal Armor is nice. Duel is very nice. All of these also help with our fatigue. And your is not that much block right now. But it's still the best thing I can do here. And then we full defend thanks to our plated armor. And the uh, ornamental fan we also triggered that turn. Rapid strikes, triple strike and duel. That's good. Start with dual and triple strike. We played five techniques, so this will hit eight times now. That's some damage. And then we let just let Floor transform the Icky. I'm fine with that. Into a dazed? That's much better than a slimed even. Bewildered. Uh, that's a problem. I think we have to play that. Berserk style to gain more fatigue, even though we are almost dying. <laughs> we can't die to fatigue, but we can die to these hits from Bag of Knives, so we need to be careful about that. But as soon as we play a finisher, we are back to 105 life, and I do intend to play a finisher pretty soon. Unless we want to backstab. Yeah, we want to backstab. Gain basically infinite block. Then go back into Berserker so we can get both benefits from the refreshment. Stance stance for a Berserker card. Sword throw is just good damage right now, but let's go with the strike first because it's more fatigue. Flurry of Strike hits three times. That's our finisher. Oh no! I played it out of... Well, I guess we have to kill Niao now. Otherwise I can't attack next turn. <laughs> well, we finished that fight with full HP, so... 
that's pretty good. This deck felt quite strong. Quite strong indeed. I do really like the fatigue builds. That's probably one of the main reasons why uh, Champ is my favorite character at the moment. So yeah, we managed to get another Nyao victory on Ascension 6 with the champ. Pretty happy with that.